So here on this side over my shoulder, you can see Oakville Trafalgar Memorial Hospital, but here and land adjacent to the hospital will be the future home for 640 residents. The Ontario government announcing today the construction of two new long term care homes. The province has signed a conditional purchase agreement of this land with Schlegel Villages Inc. in order to build the Oakville Campus of Care. Oakville North Burlington MPP Effie Triantafilopoulos says with the aging population in Ontario, the need for more long-term care is increasing. And if they need long-term care, we know they want to live close to family and friends. People aging in the community want to remain in the community. And that's, that's what these homes will offer, a place where it, easy, is, it is easy for families to visit their loved ones. We must re also remember that long-term care homes are indeed homes. They are not hospitals. It's important that residents receive quality care, but just as important that residents feel as much as possible that they are living at home. With construction set to begin next summer, President and CEO of Schlegel Villages, James Schlegel says the village will offer more than just long-term care. But also it'll include uh, retirement home, assisted living, memory care, supportive apartments, independent apartments, all on one campus. So that as our seniors age and their care needs may change over time, they can stay within their same village, but simply move to a new neighborhood to get the care they need. And also we can support couples who may have very different care needs, but can stay together as compared to being separated by distance and, and only seeing each other once in a while. This village is also going to be a, uh, a community hub. This is not going to be an island unto itself, but we want to reach out into the broader community and have amenities and services that the broader community of Oakville will come in to avail themselves of. What's unique about the College Campus of Care compared to other long-term care homes in Halton is that according to the Minister of Long-Term Care, Rod Phillips, it will offer culturally appropriate services to members of the Hindu and Sikh communities. Uh, the, the principle is that, that when it comes to, uh, to our elders, uh, language, uh, music, food, um, faith, these are all aspects that really uh, make the experience uh, better. And that's really what this is about, is the quality of life experience for our, uh, for our residents. So uh, these are facilities that will still broadly be open to the broader public, but we understand that as Ontario changes, the delivery of care needs to change to reflect those culturally unique elements. The village will also be a centre of learning in partnership with Sheridan College and a research centre in partnership with the Schlegel University of Waterloo Research Institute for Aging. The new homes are expected to open by 2025. Now this announcement is part of the Ontario government's $2.68 billion investment into long-term care development to deliver 30,000 new beds over 10 years. For Halton News in Oakville, I'm Melissa Candelaria.